Okay, welcome to the intermediate lesson um, for Flash. Now, I've been doing some Photoshop files um, which we're going to use for this project, but if you haven't got Photoshop or you haven't got the inclination to learn Photoshop, of which you should if you're doing this for a living or even um, as a project, now I've put the files anyway on my um, server and if you type in let's go down here you can see it if you type in uh, www.imaginationzone.net forward slash tutorials forward slash and then hit enter then you'll get the index of tutorial and basically all the files that I've used um, are in here so we use a background one so if you want to download that then you put your mouse over it right hand click and save target as and then you can save that onto your desktop or you could click it and then you could right hand click and save picture as but uh, I suggest you save target because I'm putting Photoshop files and they won't open up in Flash and a lot of the files I've got won't open up in uh, sorry in Flash won't open up in the browser so I'm putting it I'm up actually at the moment uploading a Photoshop file which will appear on there which is another one that I'm going to use in this um, this banner ad so download those if you don't want to create them from scratch in fact the box one you can't so you'll have to download it so download that and then you'll be ready to start this course okay the first thing we're going to do I've got a new project is go to new uh, file flash file action script 2 I'm going to use and in here I'm going to set the stage size now you've done all this before I'm going to set it to what the banner size is which is 728 and by 90 Okay, the background colour, I'm going to leave, actually it's going to be kind of bluey anyway, so I'm going to choose a blue, and I'll leave it on frame rate of 12, and there we go. So that's all ready to take our image into now. And the first layer one, I'm going to label background, and now this is the first time we've actually used external files into Flash, so very easy. Click on the frame that you want it to go into go to insert I might get this wrong because I use shortcuts uh, import and then import to stage so it's file import import to stage or simply control R so import to stage I'm going to go and find my background image which is in my electronics folder it's in the flash design folder there's my background JPEG again that's why it's important to keep folder structure you know where everything is I'll just open that and it should appear there we go Right now, it's actually slightly off stage. It's put it slightly off stage, not a problem. Come down here, and you'll see an X, Y coordinate. Now it's working from that being the the center. So if I that being the point of origin, top left hand corner. So if I set the X to zero and the Y to zero, it's perfectly in place now. So that's our background in place, and I've told you where to collect the files from. Okay, this will be our startup file, so I'm going to save this now, and we call it um, electronic banner. Um, I always put the size that it is. It's good to do that. So if you're working on tons of different banners for the same client, then you can label the first part the same, but just end the end part with the size of the actual banner. So I'll put that in my in my root 
folder which is the electronics folder and just put it in there for now I'm not going to export it out as a movie yet because nothing's really happening and you've done all that before so only when we come to put the text and drop the other images in will will we do that so okay that's it for this lesson I'll see you in the next lesson where we'll add the Photoshop layered file to this and see what happens there and what goes on and we'll create that to constantly spin around